Welcome back to Art Studies at CQ University. Today I have with me Kevin Duffy and Kevin is one of our art students studying with us here and uh, Kev, welcome. Pat. Can, can you tell us Kev uh, what course you're currently studying? I'm doing a diploma in visual arts. Okay. Uh, here at uh, Central Queensland Uni. Great, great. Uh, the TAFE campus. At, um, in Rockhampton. Yeah, that's right, that's correct. So can you tell us uh, what was your main motivation in applying for the Diploma of Visual Arts? Main motivation was uh, uh, I've, I've always had a, a dream to, uh, to go somewhere with my, my creative um, talents. And um, I, after a 40 year hiatus, I decided that you know now that I've got work and everything else sorted out, children and such like, I was in a situation where I could uh, you know go back and do some some further study. Right, right. Was there any instances that kind of led you to make the decision to do that now as a mature age student? Yes, yes. I uh, uh, my wife encouraged me to. Uh, she knew that I had an interest in in, in the painting, and she, um, uh, God bless her, she got me uh, all the materials I needed to return to painting, an easel and canvases and such like, and uh, paints of course. And I uh, proceeded to um, um, create again. And uh, then it was suggested to me that I enter um, an exhibition. And so I, I uh, did just that. And I, uh, I got a prize, I won a prize. And okay. so I thought, well, you know, um, you know, someone likes my work. And so I uh, you know, decided to, uh, you know, continue on uh, with uh, some further further education to try to uh, you know, to try to improve on on, on that uh, you know on that uh, that that ability that I knew was in me. I, it was locked away, and I just had to get it out. So, Kev, how far through the course are you at the moment? Uh, I've got about uh, ten weeks to go. Okay, so um, across. Two semesters, you're nearing the, the completion of your program then? That, that's right, that's yeah. correct. Okay. And um, given that you've had an opportunity to, to be involved with quite a number of units in the diploma, there's um, 15 altogether, and you're just, as you said, finishing off, um, can you recall, uh, whilst studying, I say, over the last nine months, if there's been any particular content either across the theory or the more of the practical classes that really um, seem to be particularly relevant to where you're at and what it is that you're looking to do with improving your skills and knowledge? Oh, definitely colour. Okay. Yeah, the use of colour. I just uh, was blown away with, uh, you know, with the, you know, just the options uh, available in expressing myself, you know, through painting by using colour. Mm. Um, it's, uh, it's just uh, an area that I hadn't even considered you know with my practice and uh, and uh, I'm um, I'm just going from strength to strength you know uh, with uh, with some good uh, teaching which has helped me to help to to uh, to direct me to channel me in the right right direction to keep on track that's great to because hear. it's quite easy to sort of you know you know head off in some other direction mm -hmm. and uh, then you know of course you miss the yeah, you miss the you miss the station mm. if you're on that train. There's often the the perception that in uh, in a structured course there's going to be practical components and theoretical components, and I think initially at the start they seem to be quite different. They seem to be quite separate. Mm. But um, as students progress through, they often find that the art history and the theory, the colour theory in particular, in your instance become really critical to the way that you think as a creative person and uh, often provide a whole bunch of underpinning ideas that support the way you problem solve in making a painting. Mm. I can see that you've got one of your paintings behind you here. Could you tell us a little bit about it and maybe what motivated it? Yes, I, uh, I was uh, on a photo shoot with my wife and um, we were travelling um, out west from Rockhampton and because uh, she um, had mentioned to me that there was a, you know, she'd found a, she'd been out there uh, the previous week and had found a, uh, some wonderful uh, um, sites where, that would make wonderful paintings. 
and so I, uh, uh, I, we proceeded to head out there, and, and unfortunately, she'd forgotten whereabouts we where it was that she'd found this this site, and so I just spotted a, a road, and I thought, oh, I like the sound of that road. It was called Native Cat Road, and we proceeded to drive up that road, and I came to the, uh, I came up to the top of the hill. And I was confronted by this image, and I just knew in my heart that uh, you know it was a, 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 a painting waiting to happen. So I took a, a number of photos, and then uh, you know, then took it back and started to you know work at bringing it together. You know, and this is of course this happened. This painting happened before I even contemplated doing a um, you know, doing a course. Mm. So uh, you know, I, um, I it, it came together and. You know? It's interesting that you point that out. I'm thinking at the moment of the assessments that you're doing for your uh, painting units and there's a body of work there that looks just at our local area so it's still very much got a landscape element but there's a lot of man-made and concrete construction in there as well. Yes. And um, you know, from the conversations that we've had I know that you're looking to kind of visually play one off against the other. Yeah, that's right, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm uh, most interested in how we as human beings have been able to um, uh, manipulate and control and, and build structures to allow us to be able to commute through, you know, the uh, the environment, uh, the rural environment, um, no, no matter what uh, particular weather phenomenon is thrown at us, you know, whether it be flood or you know or uh, or drought or whatever. So as a result of your studies, you've, um, or whilst you're studying, you've participated in a number of exhibitions. I know that you've had some work um, shown locally in town and also that you've been a part of the Central Queensland... Um, CQU Uni Creates, creates. Yeah. 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 Um, can you foresee that after maybe your um, diploma studies are completed, that you'd like to continue exhibiting and um, entering competitions? Oh, most most definitely. And yeah. do you think that the diploma will have prepared you better for those sorts oh, of professional experiences? Definitely, yeah. definitely. I, uh, I, uh, to be quite honest, before I started this course, I really didn't have a didn't have a clue. I was just sort of fumbling around, you know, in the dark, you know, right across the the, the whole spectrum of uh, you know the art world and what uh, what what it involves, you know, what uh, you know what's what's out there. And uh, um, this course has given me a good grounding. Um, it's giving me a good grounding in how to approach, um, you know, you know what's on offer out there, mm. you know, mm. and, and 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 be well armed, be well prepared, and um, and trained up to the best of my ability, so that I can I can produce uh, a, a bodies of works, you know, uh, you know, that will be. You know, be, we'll, we'll, that I feel confident in um, exhibiting at these different uh, exhibitions and such like and competitions. Well, as a teacher, I, I really enjoy obviously talking about painting and helping students on that journey, and um, it's provided us an opportunity to get to know each other a little bit. And yes. I've I've enjoyed the conversations that we've had and and watching you you know grow as as an artist, and I can see that you will continue to do it, and I'm sure. Um, receive a degree of success in, in what it is that you're looking to do next and I just wanted to wish you all the best and I'm sure that um, we'll see you exhibiting around the regions uh, in central Queensland and further afield. Well thank you Pat. Yeah alright good Kevin and, thank uh, you.